Hi, my name is Elias Isaac and I come from Angola. Chevron has been exploring oil in Angola for the last 52 years. And what we have been seeing as a long-term effect on the environment is that most of our seashore has been affected. Most of the local communities where Chevron activities are taking place are really suffering because their livelihoods have been affected. The fishing industry in Angola is completely destroyed. Just last week, our government has to pass a law to start importing fish from Namibia and South Africa, which never happened before. And Angola will be importing over 90,000 tons of fish. And this really shows the impact and the effect of Chevron's activities in, the, in Angola. And the other point is that uh, as more oil platforms are established in the Angolan uh, seas, the local fishermen are not allowed to fish. They cannot go beyond the platforms and their livelihoods are being affected. So, unfortunately, what is happening in the Gulf of Mexico today is what most of us have been saying for a long time, the effects. And we are here to tell Chevron that this is not something that really just affects people in Angola, people in Nigeria, but its effects will affect everybody around the globe. And we like Chevron to take serious measures to stop what they're doing and to look for alternative measures for in energy and for other, for to improve their activities, so that our livelihoods in the long in the long run is not affected and our future is sustained. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have uh, our friend Joshua from Australia, and uh, some of you may know that uh, uh, in Kimberley, Australia, which is one of the towns, just last year there was a big spill which has affected, you know, the livelihood of that community and I'll just give us uh, one or two minutes to Joshua just to say a few words. He's going to present oh, okay. and then, and then, and then okay. Okay. They already presented them. <laughs> they, they, they come to me very much. Yeah, I'll, I'll introduce you. We 